Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I know a lot of you guys are really excited because it is the Blood Lust Palette video. If you are new to my channel, make sure you subscribe and leave a comment down below letting me know you are new. I would appreciate that. I am a small channel, so I do love to respond to you guys and talk to you guys. Can't get the box back in. So, this is just the box. I have the palette here on my desk, but this is what the box looks like. It's absolutely gorgeous. So, I have some opinions, opinions about this palette in particular. Not the collection, just the palette. So, So Jeffrey said that the palette would come in like a bumper um, to protect the eyeshadows from breaking, which is great. I think it's a wonderful idea. You know, anything to protect makeup during shipping is like good. But mine, I had such a hard time getting the palette out of the box that was in that bumper that the bumper actually broke. It is very flimsy, like you can just easily tear it apart. Which, you know, if you're going to take that out, that's totally fine, but if you want to keep all your pieces together, this is kind of, it's, it's just a lot, just a lot. Um, but this is what the palette looks like. It's got a gorgeous dark purple royal velvet front and back. It has all his information. And it has this little knob. And I think this is what made that um, bumper break because it got hung. This is just bulky. Like no hate or anything toward Jeffrey. This is awesome, but this is just bulky. Um, and if you want to use your palette as like a display piece, you're not going to be able to set it up this way. You'll have to do it like this or some angle because it's not going to sit on, it's just not going to sit on the table or anything like that. It's just going to fall. So just keep that in mind if you want to use it as a display piece. You will have to keep the box and have the box setting up for display. Um, so yeah, that, that was just my first just my first thoughts on that. Um, so when you open it, I have used this by the way. When you open it, this piece right here is heavy. Like it's very heavy. It could be because of this little ball, this bracket, or it could just be the mirror mixed in with the packaging, but this is a lot heavier than this bottom part. So if you're trying to do like your makeup like this, your arm is gonna get tired because this is so heavy. It's just, it, it'd be a little difficult. Um, just my personal opinion, it just don't come for me. That is just my opinion um, on that. This is gonna, this is sturdy, don't get me wrong. This is, like your eyeshadows are gonna be protected. But, so I took this little plastic piece out. This is what the palette looks like. It is absolutely stunning. It is gorgeous. Um, now I know when he did the uh, promo video for this and like the pictures were released, a lot of people were kind of upset with, um, it didn't have a lot of purples. Now, my opinion. Yes, it doesn't have a lot of purples. But I think the way that he did this is very Jeffrey. It's very to him, um, which I love. It makes the palette very, very unique. Um, I just, I do wish, I do wish there was like one or two more purples because when you look at this palette, you only have about seven purples out of, mm-hmm, 18 shades. You have like seven purples. You have this purple. This is a purple. This is kind of more pink. So I wouldn't know if that would technically be a purple. Pink Magic is what I'm wearing on my lid today. Then you have High King, Vivid Mood, Blood Queen, and Betrayal. The rest, like, um, 
Wet Jewel, Royal Pain, Dungeon, Scandal Water, Sworn Enemy, Bleeding Heart, High or High Ki well, Monarchy, Vile Serpent. Those are not purples. They're not purples. Um, when you compare it to a palette like Blue Blood, I will bring that one out. So part of his blood line. I'll just use Blue Blood as an example. This has more blues. I'm trying to block out my studio lights. This has more blues than like, hold on, hold on. This does purples. Um, so like in this palette, this has 18 shades. You get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven out of eighteen are blues versus seven out of how many did we say? Fifteen? Sixteen? Just opinion, just clarifying that. Um, so, anyway, now, as far as the quality of this palette goes, it's phenomenal. It is very true to Jeffrey. It is Jeffrey's formula. I'm going to try to close that just a little bit. It is Jeffrey's formula. It blends like a dream. It's pigmented. It's rich. It's a gorgeous palette. I love it. I'm going to be honest. I completely love it. It gets my stamp of approval. Um, I just wish maybe one or two more purples. Just one or two more purples. But it's a very cohesive palette. It makes sense. You can use the shade Your Majesty. I put Your Majesty um, on top of my eyeshadow primer to set my eyeshadow primer. Then I went in with Deviant, which is on the top part of my lid, which is this shade right here. Then I went into Vivid Mood, which is a more purple, and I put that in my crease. Then Pink Magic, I put on my lid. You can create just beautiful looks with this. Now, I will play around with this, and you'll get, you know, I'll probably do like a tutorial later on this week, but I love this palette. I really do. Um, don't know what I'm going to do with the teal. That's going to be a little interesting to see how I work with that. But I never thought purple and red would go together. And Jeffrey has made this work. You can use like this dark purple with this dark red. And then you have this royal paint shade that's just like a lighter, muted, reddy pink color. So I think he did a good job with this. I really do. I'm going to... That is so satisfying. So, I'm gonna do just a couple swatches. I'm not gonna do everything because we would be here forever and my hand is already stained. So, let's do, the shade that I was most excited for in this palette was probably this lilac color, which is what I'm wearing today, which is Deviant, and I'm gonna swatch that for you. That is so gorgeous. And it, for a pastel color, a pastel, this is incredibly pigmented. It's gorgeous. It's so gorgeous. Um, let's do, let's swatch the ones that were on my eyes. So Vivid Mood is that one. Again, for a pastel, that's great. Purples are not easy to formulate. It, it's not. They're just not easy. <laughs> So then Pink Magic, which is what I had on my lid, which I think I need to just a smidge more. I don't think I put enough on when I did this this morning. So yeah, anyway, Pink Magic. Which I believe this was part of his new formula. That is, it's just so gorgeous. Where's my makeup remover wipes? Let's do a couple more. Take the Crown, which is a gorgeous shimmery color. I'm gonna swatch it right here while my hand's drying. Like, um, hello. That's gorgeous. Then let's do a matte, let's do Royal Pain. This is that kind of muted purpley pink color. Just, it's it's amazing. It's just amazing. 
Then we'll go into this red one, this Bleeding Heart. Now when I first swatched this red shade, which is Bleeding Heart, it was very dry. And then I swatched it and it was just like the creaminess just came out. But in the pan it was a little dry, which I was kind of confused, but I swatched it and it just was amazing. Then let's do Executioner. This is the black with the like purple glitter that like everyone was dying over. And see all the purple glitter. You can make a look with that. I mean, that would be gorgeous. So while it doesn't have as many purples as I was hoping for, I completely and totally understand how this palette makes sense. Um, so just my personal opinion. Um, I'll swatch just a couple more. We'll do Scandal Water and we'll do High King. My fingers are kind of wet, so this is kind of, it's just, it's, it's amazing. It's amazing. So yeah, um, this palette retails for $54. I purchased mine off Beautylish. I purchased it on release date, which was Friday, and I got it on Tuesday. So that is some pretty good shipping time. Thank you, Beautylish. Um, unfortunately, this palette is sold out, but I'm, I'm sure there will be a restock, and I will notify you guys when there is a restock, um, or you can always just check Jeffrey's um, Instagram and um, Twitter. But this right here, other than the little minor, like little flaws, like this ball, I would say this palette would be 9 out of 10. It, it's great. It's phenomenal. For $54, for how many shades left? Hmm. Eighteen. I keep forgetting. It's eighteen freaking shadows. Jamie, pay attention. So it's three dollars each. Each shade in this palette. That's amazing. I know shadows single shadows that are more than that like if you go and you buy uh like ColourPop super shock shadows which i love and adore they're six bucks a piece for about the same amount you get a great amount in this palette i wonder if it tells me me let me see eighteen shades times one point five grams over 0.5 ounces. What is blue blood? Oh, blue blood's the same. So they are this they're the same size too. They're like the the shadow pans are the same size. So anyway, that is my review of this uh, palette. It is Jamie approved, in case you wanted to know. Um definitely recommend. If you're someone that loves purples, which I love purples. I love purples. So I will have a, another video on this sometime later this week. Um, I am going to start my decluttering series on my channel where I go through my drawers of makeup and declutter um, some stuff. So that will probably be before this, but I will be doing a look on this palette. I just wanted to make sure that I had some time to play with it, sit down, test the formula before I gave you like my final thoughts and my, you know, good to go review. Um, so yeah, I love this palette. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe and leave a comment down below and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.